This white bean dip is a staple in my house because it takes less than 10 minutes to throw together with ingredients you can keep in your fridge or pantry. So when I'm making dips at home, I always start with vegetable broth because it's such a great way to infuse flavor and also help liquefy your solid ingredients. I'm always putting the liquids in first, just helps to get the blades moving. Always adding an acid to every dip I make. Sometimes it's vinegar with this dip, about half a lemon. It just helps to lift and brighten the flavors, goes beautifully with white beans. Then I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of tahini, which is sesame seed paste, which just helps to cream up the dip, give a beautiful texture, and really complements the white beans. Then to that, I'm gonna add just a couple of cloves of garlic. Now here's the magic ingredient. I've sauteed about a half of a medium onion, which is about a cup, and with a tablespoon of olive oil, just sauteed in your pan for about five minutes, just until it's soft and translucent, but it is such a fantastic way to infuse flavor into a dip. So I've just opened a can of cannellini beans. I just drained them, rinsed them. It's about a cup and a half. Here's where we're gonna add our flavor. Now I've got a little intolerance to dairy, so I'm using two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. If you don't have an allergic reaction to dairy, quarter of a cup of Parmesan, delicious flavor. Always adding a little bit of salt just to punch up the flavors. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a teaspoon of just a high quality sea salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of sweet paprika just adds this really beautiful warm middle note. And to that, I'm just gonna add a pinch of cayenne pepper. Just adds a really beautiful back end kick, but if you're making it for kids, feel free to leave it out. So I'm just gonna pop this on. Now I'm gonna use the variable speed dial. I'm gonna take it up to eight. You could take it to 11 if you want, but I don't think you need it. So this is where you can really precisely control the texture of the dip exactly the way that you want it. How easy is that? Now this dip is fantastic. Served with vegetables, sticks, crackers, tortillas. You can also stir through some herbs, drizzle on a little bit of olive oil. You could pop this into the fridge to thicken it, you know, for about an hour, but I love it just the way it is. So share what you're making with me using hashtag the blended life. I would love to make some of your creations.